welcome back to my channel. So we're getting into some of my favorite videos to film. We're getting towards the end of this year and beginning of next year. This is like the foundation for my channel. It's just bettering yourself, achieving your dream life, like really going after what you want. Like, let's do it. We've all worked really hard this year. And maybe you're like me where you're already thinking about next year. You're already thinking about what can I still do this year? So this video is all about the exact formula that I use every single year to achieve goals, my dream life, manifest, law of attraction, all of it. Like. Think of it like bettering yourself. And you can start now. Like you can obviously use this for next year, for 2023, if you're like, okay, some of the goals I have, I need like a whole year to work on, that's totally fine. But you should start now. You should start getting in the habits now. Because what you're gonna see about this formula is there's different things to do at different times and it's not all gonna come together like immediately. Now, this was designed for three months, so to change your life in three months, but you can obviously stretch this out to do six months. You can stretch this out for an entire year, but this will give you a really good foundation. So the first is month number one, focusing on your morning and night routines. You're not gonna focus on anything else. You don't have to focus on working out. You don't have to focus on eating healthy. Let me show you a sample morning routine. So for me, the best time to wake up is around 6.40 and I try to make the mornings nice and cozy. I always hydrate first thing in the morning. This is something you can work on when you're working on your morning routine. And I try my best to stay off my phone. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and hang out with my little, my husband, our dogs. We go on morning walks. I make us a healthy breakfast. Find things that you enjoy about your morning that don't include social media or your phone. So once you start doing a basic morning routine, waking up at the same time, making your bed, taking your supplements, having your water, you can then add on. So for me, I like to walk to Pilates and I always get in a really good workout here. And then something else that you can add on is journaling or reading a book for 20 minutes. And I like to do these around week three after you've established a morning routine. So the theme for for a morning routine is staying off your phone and for the night routine the theme is going to bed early and also finding things that bring you joy that are not your phone so after I do my daughter's night routine like books and a night walk then I do mine which is skincare straightening up a little watching a show with my husband and going to bed early what you're going to see in this video is that you try to do everything all at once you're not going to do anything well so you're really going to focus all month just on your morning and night routines and you're going to find what works because that's all you're working on you're not focusing on working out you're not focusing on meal prepping organizing your whole house like you're not focusing on any of those things something really important that i learned about morning routines and night routines when it comes to manifesting and attracting more into your life think about your brain when you first wake up if you were to first First wake up, look at your phone, see a TikTok that like triggers you or an Instagram post or something that makes you jealous or something that makes you angry or something you don't agree with, then guess what? You're taking that energy and you're bringing it throughout the day. The same thing before you go to bed. Your brain is like vulnerable before you go to bed. Okay, so month two, I focused on my workout and my movement. I did not focus on eating healthy yet, meal prepping or organizing or anything like that. I literally just focused on working out and movement. Sometimes I would even do a really nice workout class or I would, you know, work out, go on a really long walk and then come home and not really eat the best breakfast or the best lunch. I gave myself that grace and almost took that leap of faith chance that like, listen, I'm doing this in phases and it's going to pay off. And I'm telling you guys, it did because I already had this good foundation from the first month just working on my morning and night routine. Then by month two, I was just focused on workout and movement and that's how I actually discovered things like Pilates and using the reformer and actually seeing ab definition again. After I had my daughter, I did not really like have that definition or that strength in my core anymore. And so doing Pilates like gave me the opportunity to like strengthen that area up again. And if I was focused on like meal prepping and eating healthy and morning routines and all these things all at once, I would have never found Pilates. And like, I would have never found, I just started doing F45 and lifting weights. So I would have never found those things because I'd be so focused on doing everything that you just don't have enough time in the day. Maybe I would have just gone to the gym and like did the Stairmaster or the treadmill because it's like easy and available and I already know it's there and whatever. But giving myself the time to like 
research classes and find them in my area gave me the opportunity to really build some good workout routines. Come up with your schedule the exact same days of the week that you're going to work out and stick with it for a month. Don't worry about what you're putting into your body. Just focus on this and your morning and night routines. And last but not least, you guessed it, is eating healthy, grocery shopping, and meal prepping. Now, before we get into those, you might be asking yourself, okay, these are all like health and fitness related. Like, how is this gonna help me build my business? How is this gonna help me make more money? How is this gonna help me save more money? Or say it's like financial things or career things. In order to be the best version of ourselves, we have to feel good, we have to be in movement, we have to be eating the right things, we have to be waking up at the best time for our bodies, not, you know, you see these videos, people are waking up at 4 a.m. and they're achieving all these things, but that might not be what's best for you and your bodies. The time of my life that I hit financial goals was also the time of my life that I was working out and eating well, because my body was just running the way it's supposed to feel. Mine was sharp, everything was like on point because I was feeding my body good things, I was getting in movement, which was then inspiring me to work on my career, work on making videos. Also, when you establish good habits, like a good morning and night routine, workout routine, and eating healthy, you start prioritizing rest. Rest is so important for achieving your goals and feeling good. Everything else followed. So there is definitely a relationship between what you're doing for your body and then going on to achieve financial goals too. And it's kind of like the saying, invest in yourself. There's so many people, they'll say to me, what should I invest in? You know, I have like a little bit of money. Should I invest in stocks? Should I invest in real estate? What should I invest in? I always say, step one, invest in yourself. Start there. So by month three, that's when I really focused on my meals. I would go on Pinterest and I would pin different meals that look good, that were easy enough for me to make for me and my family. The other thing too that I was really specific about and I still am is I only make meals that take 30 minutes and under. If they're gonna take like all day, I'm not making it because guess what? I'm probably not gonna stick with that. When it comes to dieting and eating well and you know, fueling your body, what you have to keep in mind is so many people fail, don't stick with things because they set unrealistic expectations for themselves. And maybe it's not that you're lazy, but that you created these unrealistic goals. So of course you're not gonna stick with them. So when you do all these things, by month four is when you really start feeling it because you're like, I'm like a totally different person. Like. You just feel like, I remember when I got to month four, I just started feeling like, I've been having really good days. Like every day has been really good. Like I haven't, you know how some days you're like, oh, I kind of had like a shitty day or I kind of feel like I'm in a rut. Like I was like having those a lot less. Obviously we're human, we have emotions, we're allowed to not, not every day is going to be perfect. Your life's not always going to be perfect. Instagram is a highlight reel. YouTube is even a highlight reel. But with all that being said, I was having so many more good days than like, feeling in a funk, feeling in a rut. And it's because I was really focused on doing everything in phases that I actually looked forward to the next phase. I actually was looking forward to like, oh, I can't wait to add this or this ritual. But at the same time, there wasn't a lot of pressure to do everything at once. And that's how you're gonna actually build habits for the rest of this year and next year. So comment down below, what do you think of this formula? Are you guys going to try it? I make new videos every Wednesday. Follow me on Instagram. I always show like more behind the scenes of my life. Have an awesome day and I'll see you guys soon.